making left hand got through the right hand that followed some beautiful quality produced in the final round terrific contest everything I did in boxing I've soaking loved it in the blue corner the Africans always in me by way of a unanimous points decision I always love chickens anyway from back in Ghana please show your appreciation I knew this is it boxing is over I want to get into chickens now your winner I love doing this job at winter because it's cold outside, cold hands. But every time I come in early collecting the eggs, it's all nice and warm. Fresh. Yeah, that's fresh, very fresh. Francis and Popho had four shots at a world title and lost them all. I won it twice, but didn't get those decisions. And then that's boxing. Standing at just over five feet tall, his nickname as a fighter was The Pocket Battleship. Not that it helped him in school. Because I was the smallest in the class. They will pick me up, chuck me in the bin, put a lid on and I'll get her and I'll start fighting. But now Francis is big business when it comes to chickens. I'll pick them up like this and just see how they're getting on. That's it really. This chicken looks healthy? Yeah, she looks healthy. No, they haven't picked on it too much. I mean, she's a few... Yeah, she looks okay. She, They're quite happy made. for them to be handled by you, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, They all yeah. know you. Yeah, they know me, yeah. Good old girls. <laughs> I was born in Ashtown, Kumasi. I didn't really know my mum that well because she came here when I was three years old to work on NHS. Then I moved in with my grandmother, and that's where reality started. <laughs> Start working. I was selling them mangoes, oranges, carry on my head and go around selling them. What do you think now when you think back to those times? I think it was a fantastic time. Very, very good. I mean, where we live in the house, we had about maybe six, six or seven chickens, and they, they had a little coop, coop where I would go and make sure I clean it all up, get all the all the eggs out, and and then give it give them to my nan. So every morning that was my job. All that played a big part in this. Why do you think that was? Why do you think you kind of had a connection with the chickens? I, I don't know because I think young young age and I like animals. I like birds anyway. Those chick I like chickens. When I first came to this country, my mum doesn't know this, but I really wanted to go back to Ghana because I hated it, because it was like prison to me. Ghana, seven, um, from six o'clock, I'm out. Nice and sunny, I'm out everywhere, doing what I want, or go, to, go, go and work in commercial market. In this country, it's different. You are locking all the time, you are inside the house. So Francis, how did you get into boxing? It's purely by mistake, I wanted to, do a self-defence karate lessons and they were shot. So I went to another club and all they did was boxing. So I thought... And I'd was it sort of love at first sight or love at first punch? <laughs> love, love at first sight, it was very good. I enjoyed it and, and I thought, well, that's it. And what did you enjoy about it? Just the training, the adrenaline, actually being in the ring and fighting people and bringing all the stress out of me. Can I say, I mean, don't be offended. Yeah. You're not the world's tallest person. No. You, were, you were nicknamed the pocket battleship. Yeah. Was it partly sort of a self-defense thing? In East London, if you cannot defend yourself, you get picked on. Yeah, they will picked on you, especially the boys. It's a bit like the chickens pick on each other. Yeah, yeah, just like that, yeah. One year of serious boxing yeah. and you're a British champion. Yes, and I've got this belt. Do you have regrets about the fact that you had those four world title shots and you didn't nail one? Does that still rankle a bit? It's not regret, but I thought I was deserved to have. Definitely one of them. I mean, now I could never call myself a former world champion. You gotta tap the door. Otherwise, if you just open it, they'll scatter everywhere. And 
So you've got to let them know you're coming? Yeah, yeah. So you got you always have to knock on the door. Very important. Then you open the door, then they, they don't scatter everywhere. While you were boxing, you were squirrelling away your money, your prize money. Oh, yes. <laughs> already with the idea of buying this farm. This one just happened to come in one of my monthly magazine that I used to get. And what do chickens eat? They eat um, it's corn and wheat. It's like mashed together. There's love at first sight with this farm. Definitely. Boxing is over. I've done my 20 years. I want to get into chickens now. And what kind of fighter were you? I was uh, more, I wasn't a boxer. Too short to be a boxer. I was a fighter type where I go forward. I hardly step back. So you're not technical? No, not technical at all. I was a bit like Mike Tyson type of fighter. <laughs> okay. Do you think there's anything from your character traits that helped you in boxing that have brought you into this? Maybe yeah. that sort of resilience and stickability? Definitely enjoy hard work. It's also, because it's my own, my own business, I, um, I enjoy it even more. And how many eggs are these birds producing every day? They might lay just under two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand eggs every day? Every day. Who's collecting them all? Me, my wife and my youngest son. Do you get sick of the sight of eggs? Not at all. I mean, I've been here, what, 20 years and it really feels like I've just got here. This is it. This is the shop. This yeah. is where the money making activity of course, yeah. happens. Uh, there's a lot of eggs. And yeah. people are just coming to buy these from you in this farm shop. Yes, yeah. that's it. Here you go. You ever crack any egg jokes? Many no. egg jokes? You get <laughs> yeah. sick of those? A few yolks, yeah. A few yolks. <laughs> <laughs> you do crack a few yolks, yeah. So from young Francis in Kamasi, yeah. into East London, yeah. boxing, yeah. winning titles, yeah. and now you're here farming chickens, picking up two and a half thousand eggs a day. Yeah, that is unbelievable and shocking. I'm only a little African kid, just come over here. I'm just going to come here, learn my car mechanics and go back to Ghana and work over there. That's, that's what my intention, to go back to Ghana when I'm 17 and work. But obviously boxing went on and I'm here. Everything I did in boxing, I absolutely loved it. I would do it all over again if I get another chance. 